Hey, my name is Nick, I'm with Everlights. We are gonna teach you how to use your app today. Let's get started. Once you find your app, you can open it up and it'll take you to our homepage. It's nothing special, it just has our logo on it. Um, you don't need to worry about that page too much. Really, the only two tabs you need to worry about are the sequences tab and the calendar tab. They are the two middle tabs on the bottom of your screen. Um, if you click on the settings tab, this is where your account information is. It'll also have your bridge serial number. Um, you will be getting an email talking about a warranty activation. To activate that warranty, you just need to input the bridge serial number that you have found under that bridge section in your settings tab. Um, after that you've inputted that, that's really the only thing you'll need to do on this page. Another cool feature you can do on the settings tab is if you click device, it'll open up a couple switches you can toggle on and off. There is a toggle on there and it is called autopilot. If you turn autopilot on, it'll make it so that on holidays, any holiday that's pre-scheduled like Veterans Day, 4th of July, it'll automatically turn on patterns for that day. Um, and you won't have to worry about it. So sometimes people forget about like Veterans Day or something, but if you turn this autopilot on, it'll make it so your lights turn on and you won't forget about any holidays and you won't miss any of the good ones. Um, that's really it for the settings tab. The other two tabs are the sequences tab and calendar tab. Um, we're gonna go through the sequences tab right now. So we will click on that. And um, if you're like me and you're not super artsy and you don't really wanna create your own patterns, you just wanna use some pre-saved ones and make it a little easier on yourself. All you gotta do is hit Everlights. It's the middle section on the top. And there's tons of sections in here to choose from. There's a holiday section, religious, patriotic, fall fun, anything you can think of, there's practically already a pre-saved pattern for it, which is nice. Um, if we click on holiday right now, it'll have a drop down, and a bunch of different patterns will be in that drop down. There's anything from 4th of July to Father's Day, St. Patrick's Day any of those. If you wanna turn any of these patterns on, all you have to do is select the pattern you like. Let's say we liked this traditional Christmas pattern. We would click on that, and then there is a power symbol on the top right of your screen. You should click that and it'll turn blue. Once it turns blue, that means your lights are on and you should have that pattern illuminating on your house outside. Um, that's how you turn our pre-save patterns on. It's super easy to use. Um, if you ever wanna tweak one of these patterns, all you gotta do is just change whatever one you want. Like let's say you wanted these green lights to be pink instead. You can just tap the light you want highlighted and then choose pink. If you wanted to save that tweak that you just did, you would just hit save on the bottom of your screen and then you would hit save a copy. And then you can name it traditional Christmas, you can name it whatever you want and you would just hit save again and once it says sequence saved, you'll hit the back arrow and that'll take you right back into the Everlight section where there's tons of different sections to choose from. Again, just to review, to turn a pattern on from our pre-saved ones, you click on the pre-saved section you wanna be on. So right now I clicked on patriotic and then let's say you liked this America Comments one. All you have to do is just hit this power button right here and then that pattern that is you have selected will illuminate on your house outside. Um, to turn them off, all you're gonna do is you can just hit this power button and again and it'll turn it off just like that. Um, we'll hit this back arrow and it'll take us back to this screen where we have our pre-saved patterns. Um, if you ever do wanna create your own pattern, all you have to do is go to the personal tab. You'll hit personal and once that's highlighted, there is a plus sign in the top corner that you will need to click on. Click on that plus sign, it is in the top right corner and then this opens the portion where you can create your own patterns. Um, as you can see, there is a number three on the top of your screen. That number three is indicating a pattern of three lights. Each of the little circles above that number three represent a light. So if you just wanted a pattern of three, right now that first light is on white. If you wanted the next light to be a different color, you would just tap it and see how it is highlighted. That means that light is selected and you can change that color. Let's say you wanted that one to be blue. Then you would tap blue on the color wheel and your light would then change to the blue color. And then you would do the same thing for the next circle up there. That's just your third light. Let's say we wanted that one to be yellow. Then you can just hit yellow, 
And right there you can see that created a pattern of three. You'd have a white, blue, yellow, white, blue, yellow. Um, and if you were to hit power, it would just illuminate that sequence on your house outside. For this pattern, we are gonna have four lights. So right now, what we can do is we're gonna have two whites and then two red lights. And to do that, all you have to do is you can tap on this first light and you will hold down and then a copy and paste menu will pop up. You will then hit copy, click on the next light, and then hit paste. Now both of those first lights are identical. We're gonna do the same thing on this red portion just to get the red exactly how we want it. So on the color wheel underneath, that's where you can tap what color you want. We are gonna select red and we'll get a dark red so that way it looks nice and clean on the house. And then after that, we're gonna do the same thing. Press and hold down, hit copy, go to the light after that, press and hold down and hit paste. Now those two lights are identical. So if we were to hit power right now, that blue button would turn on and now your house would illuminate white, white, red, red, white, white, red, red, all throughout your house and it would repeat that pattern going throughout the whole thing. To make a pattern with movement, we're gonna do the same thing. We will be in the personal section. We will hit the plus sign in the top right and that'll bring us back to this screen. Um, we can have, as I was saying earlier, that number three is indicating a pattern of three lights you can hit that plus sign and go all the way up to a pretty much every house, every light on your house could be a different color if you wanted it to be. You would just need to hit the plus sign and that would add more numbers and more lights into your pattern. Um, right now, what I'm gonna show you guys is how you can select movement patterns, effects for your sequences and everything like that. On the bottom of your screen, there is a section that says effects. You will hit tap to select and then that'll bring this menu. As you can see, there's anything from a fade, a blink, a strobe, chase, twinkle. There's tons of these to choose from. Um, best way to figure out which one of these you like best is just to go out at night, play around with your lights, see which one looks coolest to you, um, see what your favorites are. Um, for now, we are gonna use a chase pattern. So to do that, all you have to do is select chase. And then that little slider on the bottom of the chase that you just selected, that's the speed of your effect. If you slide that slider all the way to the right, that's the fastest it can be. If you slide it all the way to the left, it slows it down. Somewhere in the middle is usually a good spot. I like about three quarters away. Um, so now that that chase pattern is selected, you will hit done and that'll bring you back to this screen. Um, for this pattern that we are creating, we are gonna have three whites and then we will have three greens and then we will have three reds. And to change the colors, I am just tapping on the circles above the number and then choosing the color I want on the color wheel. We have three white, three green, three red. Um, and then with that chase pattern selected, all we would have to do is hit the power analog. And once you hit that power analog, your house would then illuminate three white lights, three green lights, three red lights, and then it would do a chase effect, meaning it would move around your whole house. Um, if you don't like this color wheel option of selecting your lights, you can click this circle with the smaller color wheel in the top left, and that'll give you another drop down. There's a couple options in here for you to choose which way you want to select your color. The first is the color wheel. The next is this little slider, and you just select the dot, and then you can drag that dot around, and that manually changes the color for you as well. Um, my favorite one is this one. These are called the RGB sliders. Basically, these are what we use to mix colors together in order to create whatever color you're trying to create. Um, so these, a lot of people don't know this, but the numbers on the right side, those aren't universal. So if you're trying to ever get a specific color, you can just Google like maroon RGB numbers or warm white RGB numbers. And then once you get those numbers, you'll just wanna come in here and make sure that those numbers correspond. And then that'll give you the exact color you're looking for on the outside of your house. Um, and the way you do that is you just slide these sliders to whatever number you're looking for. Um, yeah, so if you're looking for a periwinkle, you can see that last light right now is like kind of a lighter purple periwinkle color. Um, and we just use our sliders to fully customize whatever light we are looking for right there. Um, to go back to the sequence screen, you can see that little slider underneath your color wheel. 
That slider is um, your brightness slider. You're gonna want that slider to be all the way to the right. Um, just makes it so your lights are as bright as they can be. If you ever wanted to save this pattern, all you would have to do is hit the new sequence at the top, and then we can type in, let's type in Christmas, since these are Christmas colors. And then you'll hit save on the bottom of your screen, and then you can hit this back arrow and it'll take you back to your personal personal um, calendar. And as you can see, if you scroll down, you can see there is a Christmas pattern that we had just created and saved, and it is right there in your sequences, um, in your personal menu. So that's it for the sequences uh, portion. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go through the calendar. Um, the calendar is a cool feature that our app has. What this allows you to do is pre-plan ahead your guys' lights. So if you guys are gonna be out of town or you guys just wanna pre-plan ahead all of your holidays or something like that, then this is what allows you to do that. This will also allow you to set a timer for your lights. So if you want your lights to turn on at dusk and then turn off at dawn or back and forth, whatever that way, you can choose whatever time you want for your lights to turn on. To do that, you just need to manually select each day you want. So like, let's say we wanted this weekend to all be a specific pattern. You would tap on those dates in the calendar as you can see, they are highlighted now. That means those dates are selected. Once you have the dates selected that you need, you'll hit the plus sign in the top right. And then the time portion on the top, this is what I was telling you about. You could have your lights turn on at dusk and then turn off at dawn, or you can click on each one and manually change the time to whatever you want. Um, if you wanted them to turn off at dawn, you would just hit the dawn selection on the left-hand side and then hit done. And now your lights would go from dusk to dawn. Same thing goes from the Time they turn on, if you want to deselect dusk, just tap dusk and you can customize whatever time you want them to turn on. If you share your location with the app, it'll automatically sense the dusk and dawn of your area. So that is how we know what time dusk and dawn is in your area. Um, you have to share your location with the app in order for us to know that no. Otherwise, you would have to come in and just manually change the times to whatever you want. Um, this days section underneath the time, those are obviously the days you selected. And as you saw, you can select a number of days. You can select a whole month. If you want the whole month of December to be Christmas patterns, you just got to make sure all those dates are highlighted. And then zones, depending on your house, you may have multiple zones. Um, this is where they will show up. You're just going to want to make sure they're all selected and make sure they are a bright green, how this one is. Um, and then underneath that, where it says sequences, this is where you are going to choose the patterns you want for these dates. There is a plus sign on the right side of that sequence section. And if you hit that plus sign, it'll take you back into the menu where we have our personal patterns that you have created or our Everlights patterns that you can choose from. Um, let's say you wanted 4th of July lights to turn on for this weekend that you have selected. You would choose the 4th of July you want. And as you can see, it shows up under your sequence tab just like that. Um, a cool thing about this as well is you can add multiple patterns to this, uh, to this event. So like, let's say you and your wife can't decide what pattern you want. Um, you can have both of them. And to do that, all you do is you just hit the plus sign again on the bottom right of the sequence one. And then you can choose another pattern that you would like for this day. And as you can see, both of them are now selected that 22nd number right there. That is the interval of time that that light will be that pattern will be on before it changes to the next pattern. Um, if you click on those numbers, it'll actually bring another time clock where you can choose how long you want those lights to be on for that specific pattern. You just have to choose whatever time you want and then you'd hit done and it'll bring it back here. So right now, as you can see, we have our 4th of July pattern going for five minutes and five seconds and then it would change to the America pattern and that would go for 20 seconds and then it would change back to the 4th of July and so forth and just repeat that pattern. Um, for when your event is scheduled. If you wanted to save this event at the top where it says new event, you would click on that and you can name it whatever you want. Let's name it fun weekend. Once you have a name put in that you would like, you're gonna hit done on the bottom right of your screen and then you will hit save on the very bottom of your screen. Once that event is saved, it'll show up in your calendar with a little orange dot on the side of the date um, if you click on those dates, as you can see, it has the scheduled time and uh, date of when your event is going to happen. That's pretty much it for the calendar tab and I went through the sequences tab with you. If your lights are ever on, 
Um, an easiest way to turn them off is to just open up your app. It'll open up to the home screen and that little turn off toggle in the top right will be there. All you gotta do to turn your lights off is just go ahead and click that. And then once it disappears, your lights are then off on your home. Again, my name is Nick. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Go out and have fun and enjoy your lights.